the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good afternoon. Father. Today we celebrate St. Francis de Sales, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, and this Mass is offered for Mary Frances Watkins. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of souls will that the Bishop St. Francis de Sales become all things to all, graciously grant that following his example, we may always display the gentleness of your charity in the service of our neighbor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. All the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the children of Israel out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, you shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. David was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned for 40 years, seven years and six months in Hebron over Judah, and 33 years in Jerusalem over Israel and Judah. <clears throat> then the king and his men set out for Jerusalem against the Jebusites who inhabited the region. David was told, you cannot enter here. The blind and the lame will drive you away, which was their way of saying, David cannot enter there. But David did take the stronghold of Zion, which is the city of David. David grew steadily more powerful, for the Lord of hosts was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Once you spoke in a vision, and to your faithful ones you said, On a champion I have placed a crown. Over the people I have set a youth. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. I have found David, my servant, and with my holy oil I have anointed him that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand upon the sea, 
his right hand upon the rivers. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said to Jesus, He is possessed of the Elzebub, and by the prince of demons he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house or plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder, plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemes that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they said, he has an unclean spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we continue the octave of prayer for Christian unity. Tomorrow, the conversion of St. Paul is the last day. The Gospel speaks about unity among us. The Gospel also speaks about the sin against the Holy Spirit, blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. It looks like calling evil what is good, they are calling Jesus the devil. The Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches us that there are no limits to the mercy of God, but anyone who refuses to accept his mercy by repenting rejects the forgiveness of sins and the salvation offered by the Holy Spirit. Such hardness of heart can lead to final impenitence an eternal loss. So that's the sin against the Holy Spirit, 1864. The reason why blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is unforgivable is not because God doesn't want to forgive, but because the sinner won't open, open up to receive mercy, either because he doesn't believe he needs it or because she he or she doesn't believe God will forgive. Trust, so trust in God's love and mercy. We need to trust in God's love and mercy so that we do not sin against the Holy Spirit. Amen. United in Christ, 
we bring our needs before the throne of our Heavenly Father. For all members of the church throughout the world, both clarity, clary, clergy and laity, may our shared mission of evangelization lead to the strengthening of God's presence in the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of people and nations, may the Holy Spirit lead them in the, nation, in the ways of justice and compassion, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all struggling with difficult family relationships, may the Holy Spirit guide them in reconciliation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here and those with us virtually, may the Lord bless us and make us holy in his sight, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, especially Mary Frances Watkins, for whom this Mass is offered, may God soon grant them all eternal rest in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, look favorably on these prayers we offer. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. This saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, kindle in our hearts the divine fire of the Holy Spirit, which which you wonderfully inflame the most gentle soul of France, St. Francis de Sales. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Francis de Sales, you build your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks broken, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of him, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Mary Francis Watkins. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Francis of Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For oh, the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. He who ponders the law of the Lord day and night will yield his fruit in due season. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through the sacrament we have received, we may imitate on earth the charity and meekness of St. Francis de Sales, and so attain, like him, the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God.